Hi, my kitty collector. Um, I'm gonna do a different view today so you can see the cards. Um, but um, I had a dream last night. Um, I came back home yesterday. Let me tell you. But the dream was somebody came in my home and they shot my grandma who was on the couch. She was sleeping on the couch. And my uncle, um, and then they. They shot me in the laundry room. But when I look up the, you know, when I interpret the dream, what it actually means is that you can be under energetic attack. That's one thing that somebody around you, it could be a family member, a coworker, um, friends around you have, have been planning on your demise. They've been planning to see your downfall. Um... Planning to ruin your reputation. Um, I don't know. I did a lot of research on it. And the angel numbers that came up with it was 12, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 12, 8 came up twice. 12, 8. Um, but you'll be able to discern everybody's energy. You need to let go of people that keep worrying. That's a demonic entity. Um, you might be being more productive than usually you are in life. Um, sign signifies your threatened feeling in your own environment. Your intuition tells you that something or someone near you will bring pain and harm. This is a time to access your access your environment as well as your way of living in it. But the thing is that I'm puzzled at, okay, so... When I got shot, I just fell, and I think I survived, but I don't know, because I don't know if I woke up, or, so I wrote down both meanings, if you were to die in the, in the end, um, it means your issues, disagreements, and challenges, your um, situations, that's like that is coming to an end, but if you were to survive, it means inner feelings towards the people or things that injured you, you may come across someone or something who will cause grief there's nothing i can do about it but confront the misery alone have to deal with someone or something stealing my full focus you could be feeling hopeless fear um controlled feel like you're not in control of your own life um fighting for survival being betrayed love life you could be really fighting spiritually and this could be something to do with your love life because if you got i got shot in my chest it means communicate better with people around you, people who bring me negative energy. But if it kills you, it urges you to change the aspects spiritually about yourself um, by being energetically attacked by family, friends, co-workers. That's by doubts, criticism, um, or someone who just portrayed you behind your back for real. Let's see. Um, if you get shot in the center of the stomach, it means... The need for more shadow work development. If you get shot in your feet, hands, legs, arms, the need to focus on what's important to life. Often appears when being abused or oppressed by someone, somebody in life. Shot from gun is an indication from spirit to fight on despite attacks by others. You could be feeling unappreciated in a work or love. If die from wound is the end of termination or aggressive behavior. You've been enduring. Um, I have been enduring a lot of aggressive environment, um, toxic environment. Um, the way I look at it is trying to help me deal with situations better instead of dealing with it. I used to, old me used to deal with it out of anger. The new me started walking away, but now I'm learning to express myself and actually speak my mind in that moment, in that point in time. If you get shot at close range in your dream, it could mean positive changes coming, able to grow or gain. Um, but yeah, fighting for survival, being betrayed, love life. Yeah, so let's just see. So I had to put some new cards in my deck because I want to make sure we get, well, we get a clearer message on my prophetic message, my prophetic dream. Let go of doubt. So there could be doubtful energy 
around you um, that's causing you to be in doubt or this could just be your state of mind. I'm going to put it like this so you can see everything. So let go of doubt. That's right there. Um, start carrying everybody else's burden. Focus on you and your healing. Follow your path. Not everybody else's. Um, rewrite history. I like it like this because I don't know. It's just me, you know. Angel of Romance. So, yeah, there could have been betrayals. I was just going to say that. There could have been some type of betrayals in your love life. Because I'm telling you, that dream had too many messages in one. Lover plotting behind your back. So it's, this is somebody that's romantically watched the company that you keep. This is somebody that constantly hurts you, constantly lets you down romantically. This is a lover. So that's why I had that dream. Friends plotting behind your back. Ha. Could be lover. It could be friends. It could be friends of your lover. You need to move. So somebody, you need to move. You were born to be a legend. These people are control freaks that's plotting. You're different. Keep chasing your dreams. Believe in yourself. So, okay, lover and friends. So there could be friends plotting on this lover. And that's why spirit is telling them, watch. You need to move and control. These people are control freaks because there's new levels. There's a, these are in the toxic cycles or this could just be a lover that consistently hurts you and their friend and your friends as well these could be friends that plotted behind your back a lover that plotted behind your back at a period of time this could be past energy past present future seven twenty one procrastination you've been procrastinating you need to stop let's see Dealing with control, abuse, and feeling hopeless. Okay, so you could be in this energy of dealing with control. Somebody around you trying to control you. Energetically under attack. Abusive. Feeling hopeless. That's what you could be dealing with. Or this is what this lover could be dealing with. With these friends. Friends energetically attacking you and your person. Or just your person. Let's see. Monitor spirit. Somebody that is on your bumper like no matter what you do it's like they have a criticism for everything that you do and they monitor everything that you do it, it feels like you're under a prison a complete control system energetically under attack any evil eye energetic attacks um, dark magic, spells, curses, hexes, binds, dark magic, essential me, my collective, or their person, my person. I would love to transmit that to love, light, and healing energy and release it. I see and feel you when you cry. You don't cry. I'm always here. So if you've been very emotional lately, Spirit wants you to know that you're never alone, that they're here with you. Angel numbers, music, feathers, animals, synchronicity, smell, signs, intuition. Spirit has been trying to contact you. But whoever this person around you or that's plotting on you, they're a serial liar. They're energetically attacking you. And this could be a lover. This could be friends. I left a house behind for you and stop eating everybody cooking. Angel of career. This could be in the work field or this could be at somebody home. But you could be eating everybody cooking. The spirit is telling you to stop. Co-workers plotting behind your back. If you work at home, um, this could be family. This could genuinely be family. If you have your own businesses. Okay, yeah, these people are jealous. They're serial lighters. They're control freaks. The spirit is telling you to get some rest. They could be stopping your resting. That's how you could be energetically under attack. Because if you don't 
your rest, you don't get the energy that you need to push forward throughout your day. Counterpart connection. This is somebody surprises incoming. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This could be a lover and their friends plotting something for these surprises, this counterpart and connection. This could be soulmate or a twin flame connection, but somebody is plotting something to surprise you. Work, work, don't stop. Spirit is saying no matter how many times, how many people energetically attack you, keep prevailing, keep pushing forward. Okay? People people can only energetically try to attack you, and if they can't manipulate you to do something, serial cheater, this person was a serial cheater. This could have been how the connection was past energy. But if a person cannot manipulate you, they uh, try to manipulate you to do dark magic on yourself, as in try to get you to say things, um, speak up yourself in a negative manner, um, downplay your position, downplay your business. But it's all a way to get you to attack yourself instead of them doing it. Because some demons can't touch you, so they need you to do it to yourself. You know, some things, but let's see. Let's see, really planning your demise. You're, you're divinely protected, though. Spirit wants you to know this. Somebody around you is secretly planning your downfall. And you want to know something that's crazy is that these friends that's around them could be put secretly planning your lover downfall. Because they know your lover got some type of surprise coming in for you. And they could be behind their back secretly planning their demise, secretly trying to get with you, secretly trying to steer your person away from you. Or a lover could be secretly planning your demise and your friends. That's it. I'm going to get more clarity over this. But Spirit wants you not to worry. Spirit wants you to know that you're divinely protected. That if this is with this lover that's plotting some type of surprise... Because these friends are jealous. Spirit wants you to know that this is divinely protected. It's, it's going to happen. Whether they like it or not. You can't mess with something that is divinely. Fate it. Guardian angel. Yeah. Spirit not playing. You're leveling up in the spiritual realm. But let it go so it can come back. Okay. So... Your person could be holding on to you, and you could be holding on to your person, or either or it's right. These are ancestral messages. The spirit is saying, "Look, I got a guardian angel right here, y'all." Spirit is saying, "No, that guardian angel, that you are protected. Your person is very, very, very protected." One more. Ancestral message spirit. Who has negative intentions? Co-workers plotting behind your back. Okay. So if you work at home, this could be family, friends. Okay. Secretly planning your device. You're dealing with control, abuse, and feeling hopeless. You feel like you cannot control your life right now. Spirit wants you to know that you most definitely can. Watch the company you keep. It's people around you. You need to heal. You still have more healing work that you need to do. Um, soulmate connection. Yeah, this has something pertaining to your connection. Your soulmate connection. Um, expand your horizon. Okay. Yeah, somebody around you. This is another plotting card. It's plotting. This could be your abuser. If your lover was an abuser, if your friend was an abuser, they could be plotting against your own demise, secretly plotting. Spirit is saying in that cycle, in that cycle, it's toxic immediately, especially if you've been feeling drained. Um, you've been really feeling like the energy has been sucked out of you. You do mirror souls with a person, so they could be 
stealing when you're using your energy and turn it into negativity negative energy and spirit is saying in this is toxic let it go so it can come back you had a miscarriage your miscarriage child is up here ready to reincarnate spirit babies came out yesterday new job um you could be getting a new job if you've been filling out for jobs or find a new path that more suits you and where you're going wounded warrior you're strong we wouldn't have chose you if we didn't think or know that you could you know do this okay spirit this could be a new lover this could not be their lover. This could be somebody that you're talking to. This could be somebody that your person is talking to. If you've been having, if you're, if you're not, no, I have no problem with homosexuals. But if you don't swing that way, like a girl just recently tried to talk to me. And if you find yourself questioning it, but you know that's not even who you are, somebody could be manipulating energy. Talking shit. Somebody talking Somebody, let's see. So this could be a new lover that your person is dealing with and a friend. You know what I'm getting? Okay. Your person is dealing with somebody that's new, a karmic, and they have karmic friends that's connected to this person as well. And they could be plotting behind your person's back, playing in their demise, could be sleeping or sleeping behind their back. Yeah, because somebody's in it, don't want to hear your energy. It could have been... Yeah, somebody hating on your spiritual gifts. Um, these friends that's around your person could be sleeping. Look, don't want to hear it. I cannot make this up. Could, divine masculine, don't want to hear it. Could be sleeping with their new lover or an old lover that they were dealing with. This, this is just, let's see. Let's get more clarity. Okay, Spirit, can you give me more clarity over this? Friends and love are plotting. This is my karmic deck. Door closed. Yeah, this door is closed. You could be looking back at a door that's closed. Or they just closed the door. Yeah, some type of betrayal happened. They're lusting over you. Desire of sexual chemistry. Let's see. Okay, Spirit, thank you. Some type of backstabbing not to be trusted. Some traitor. Some type of betrayal happened, right? You're too busy over here winning, or your person is, which made this person betray you. Let's see. Yeah, you guys are astral traveling. Okay, so you could have these friends and this new lover. These friends could have put this new lover onto your person for them to betray them, literally, because they know that you all are astral traveling together. They know that you all. Are destined to be together. But this person got caught up. Some type of evidence getting caught up. They could have commented under a video. You could have been live. Um, that's what recently happened to me. They could have commented under your video, but it was some type of evidence, some type of actions where they got caught up. Yeah, you could have been dealing with a player energy. Spirit of Sin, your prayer has been received. But you're the only person that can sabotage your prayer. Literally, let's see what this bottom card is. Surviving, hustling. Okay. So somebody betrayed you. This is this is definitely past energy. Somebody betrayed you and you're too busy over here wounding. You guys have been astral traveling, but they're still in this player energy, or they were in this player energy. Which is spirit of sin, like your prayers receive. Yeah, look, surprise and event, surprise event and coming. This is gonna happen. Yeah, there's a lot of arguments going on around this person, girl fights, fist fights. Look, surprise event and coming. Yeah, somebody is planning something. They've been stalking you. <laughs> I'm gonna set y'all back up one moment. 1935. Let's see. Yeah, this person, these girls fights. This new person, this person was promiscuous. They could have been, they said, there's a whole free for all, sleeps with your man. So whoever they're dealing with is very promiscuous. Or we're dealing with 
and this is a person that's dealing, I mean, that's um, threatening them. The spirit says, check yourself. Make sure you're not doing anything to intervene in this person's karma. Or you could have checked yourself. You know, because they were, whoever they're dealing with is a succubus spirit. They're trying to negotiate, bargain, beg. They're happiness haters. They're blocking this person's genuine happiness. Whoever makes them happy. This person, these friends, this new lover is trying to block them from going towards their happiness. It was all set up. Because they knew they were going to come and together. But this person caught this person cheating. They had a drastic cut off. They cut this person off harsh. This could be happening right now or played out extreme harsh cut off yeah and this person is trying to come back and negotiate but spirit has said this is a spiritual union soul contract this reconciliation is going to happen whether you like it or not next lifetime hmm. vacation hideaway adventure okay you could be in this energy where you're feeling like maybe it's just not meant to be this lifetime. This will play out next lifetime. But spirit is, let's, let's see. Let's see. But you guys are going to go on some type of um, vacation, get away. They're filing for a divorce or breaking this contract. This is what got them in their fields. Okay, they're tuned in. They're, they're watching you on social media. They're plugged in. Or got people watching you. They're waiting to get a lump sum of money, an inheritance, unexpected money, because you got them hooked. Archangel Michael is protecting, he's preventing any harm or any divine intervention, okay? Sorry, y'all, my handwriting that looks horrible. in yeah, spirit put this person on timeout, because they got a, they got, they're in court, they're dealing with paperwork and filing. For something, but yeah, they're gonna come in for this long term commitment. They had to get did this succubus spirit. Yeah, they got played. Was somebody puppet master? They played you and got played. Let's see. Is it this lifetime spirit? Some y'all got some bullets, okay? So, all of this that they got going on, this is what you dodged. Creeping. Yeah, this person was creeping, sneaking. They're ascending. They creeped into ascension. Can I make this up? They creep into ascension. Which made them dodge these bullets. They kept you as a secret. Which they're kind of happy. Because they creep into this ascension. And they kept this as a secret. Kept you as a secret. To protect their energy. To protect your union. Yeah. They were dealing with more than one person. But they're not no more. That was the energy that they were in. Yeah. They love you unconditionally. This is unconditional love. It's a genuine love. Yeah, they got this roller coaster of emotions coming in where they want you. They had you in competition back then, but not no more. Or this person could have had them in competition, which made them experience this roller coaster of emotions, which made them block off negativity, escaping crazy people, protected from haters. Yeah, spirit intervened. Spirit was not playing. Spirit was like, no, 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 no. This is not the path that you're supposed to be on. They could be living a nightlife right now, like gambling, shooting dice. If your person shoots dice, plays cards, um, just or they're just trying to take a risk, take a gamble on something. Okay, yeah, because they're gonna come forward, compromise, expressing their feelings, revealing their feelings. So this karmic situation has been dead. They're just dealing with the aftermath of it. They're getting a closer look. Um, they're being nosy on you because they want to come in and give you this offer. They just want to make sure you're not dealing with anybody. This is what's going on now in the present, in the moment. So this person is dealing with paperwork um, in the courts because they're coming in. 
they're done allowing people to block their happiness. They feel like you could have threw them out or they threw this karmic out. Because they feel like everything they touch falls apart since y'all have not been together. So this could happen in future days, months, or weeks. Yeah, they just, they're probably getting their finances right. This karmic could have drove them bankrupt. Could have lost everything. That's why they feel like everything is falling apart. Whoever they were dealing with was a grudge holder. Yeah, this is your soulmate's friendship, soulmate, romantic partner. They got to deal with whatever, and then the door will open. Spirit is saying this door is open. This is your twin flame connection. Just cutting it where it says soulmate, twin flame, counterpart connection. Divine feminine. This is who you're supposed to be with. So this is going to play out, yeah. And today... And today, resolve this issue with this divine feminine, with this drama queen. That's crazy. Look, a situation is about to explode, which is going to make them close this door for this door to open with you all. But until this, this is going to pop off. This is what's about to go down with this drama person. So they're going to catch this person cheating. But this is what's about to happen. So that's why Spirit is saying this door is close to you. 26, 22. Yep, door open. I cannot make this up. Once this all go down, this is going to trigger them to come to you. It's going to trigger them, which is going to allow this door to open. It's going to trigger them. Hell yeah. Or you could be feeling triggered. But what I'm getting from this is this is going to trigger them for this, for them to check themselves, most importantly. This surprise event that's going to be coming in. And then also this reconciliation, which is their surprise. It's coming in. They're going to catch them cheating. So they got to check. They're going to check themselves. They're going to check their life. They're going to stop and re examine their life. Their friends, their family, people that they have around them. They're going to stop and re-examine that. See what's more going on to that field. Let me see. Let me get some um, zodiac signs. Taurus, Sagittarius. <laughs> Big Taurus in the new. Okay, Spirit, can you give me some? Yeah, somebody was Drake, they broke up. So look, fake circle, reevaluate. Single parent household. I'm talking to a single parent. But you got fake friends, fake family, fake everything around you. Dealing with the immature woman. That's this karmic. So, my collective is here. 2018, you reap good karma. 11 on the clock. Mature men, okay. So. This immature woman, immature man, this was only a short term love. It was only, it was another form of twin flame journey. It was only some twin flame journeys, but not romantic. Oh, my feet were numb. They're only there to teach you lessons. I'm talking about, but they could be dealing with older people, or this could be an older couple that I'm talking about. You guys, the vacation keep coming out. You guys are going to be going on a vacation together soon. This could be for the holidays. Because all this is playing out. Yeah, because they're going to end the situation. There's a death coming. That's why, and death means ending cycles, lessons, situationships. Learning lessons. You guys are going to do it fast and bro. On this vacation, we come to the ass up. We come every drop. Okay, go ahead. Go. Can I get some zodiac sign spirit? First millionaire in your family, so. Keep pushing. Pisces. Oh, slow and deep. Sagittarius, I called it. I saw when I shuffled my deck. Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus. Oh, yeah, my foot just went on Pisces. Or you could have dealt with a Pisces that has bad intentions. My spirit is saying, look, this is going to be a healthy situation. You could feel like the intentions were not pure. 
or are not pure, but spirit is saying trusted towards again. Spirit is saying trusted because their intentions are pure. You're going to be moving in together. You guys are going to have a new home, or you can be moving into a new home. But this was a this is a soul. They was linked to a soul contract, so that's why this death has to take place because it could have been a baby living together, um, marriage, something that had them stuck to or tied to another person. Soul contract. Guys, our light workers, healers, soul tribe. Yeah, you can feel like they have bad intentions. Spirit, is this plotting? Yeah, they had to break up separations. They see that this person's intentions were not pure. First billionaire in your family. Yeah, they see that where they were in this a toxic situation with this immature. They were in a very immature energy. They, they were dealing with immature people, which made them go deal with the immature woman because they were in immature. Yeah. This is the baby mother. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry about the disturbance. Um, A lot of these cards, about, yeah, this is a single parent home that I'm talking about. Somebody here did have a miscarriage. I'm sorry for your loss. Or they could have had, um, yesterday in the energy, Virgo, that popped up. They could have had, um, you know, this person could have burnt them, which made them find out this person was cheating on them. Taurus, and you reap good karma. Okay, um, they could have just found out that this person was cheating on them through an STD, um, which made them reevaluate the whole little situation. I'm going to get a couple more signs or see if I can, and then I'm going to switch my decks. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Unfortunately, I'm learning how to set better boundaries, especially when it comes to business and allowing people what I allow and don't allow. That's what Spirit is teaching me, how to implement better boundaries and you know just make sure i'm being respected as much as i give others respect and respect the business in them overall so that's that's what i've been learning um most importantly is setting boundaries with people well i know my boundaries but actually standing on them even you know change is very uncomfortable yeah somebody is bad in this marriage Virgo, Aries, so definitely fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Leo's Aries, Sagittarius, a lot of fire energy, yeah, this baby on the way right here, um, so somebody could have had, your person could have had a pregnancy scare, where this person miscarried the baby, but making them think that the baby is on the way, or they could have had a baby on you, and y'all could have had a miscarriage baby together, okay, yeah, this person burnt them that's how they found out uh this person was cheating capricorn a lot of earth energy too virgo taurus capricorn yeah they were in this blissful energy look earth energy capricorn again but now they're mature so when they come back spirit is saying that they're reevaluating their group you need to reevaluate your group your circle but when they come back they're going to be very mature okay it took them to go through this and have to deal with these karmic people, karmic friends, in order for them to, you know, learn from that or to be like, you know, I deserve better than this. I don't want to deal with this. Um, yeah, don't mind that. That's gifts and my niece and nephews. So I don't mind my background. So let's, let's get nieces and nephews be coming over here. Your minds are going to me. Okay, spirit. So what is the current energy? What's going on right now? Past life lover. Solar plexus. Okay, that's open by self-esteem, personal power, and confidence. They're building their confidence. They're getting their personal power. So they can come in towards you. The color for that is yellow. Yeah, I'll show y'all what I see. Um, it's blocked by low self-esteem. Shame, lack of agency, and the affirmation for this. I have power over myself and my life. Say it with me. I have power over myself and my life. And then right underneath it is the third eye chakra. That's your intuition. Let me see. Open by intuition, wisdom, and awareness. Blocked by illusions, deceptions, and blindness. So, yeah, they had to deal with all these illusions and actually see the truth. The color for that is dark blue. And the affirmation for that is I seek awareness with an open eye. Say it with me. I seek awareness with open eyes. But, yeah, they had to go through this. So they realizing right now, as of right now, these two fell out. They're realizing y'all connection and what it is in their heart and their soul is aligned. Okay, spirit. So they know that you're 
you all reincarnated here. They know that you're their past lover. Their heart and soul is aligned, and they know that you all mirror souls. You guys are engaged spiritually already, but in the physical, they feel lost. They accepted the engagement spiritually, but in the physical, they're lost on how to get near you or how to get this into actual play. Yeah, house watching, they're watching your house. How to come in, that's what they're lost. They, they're not lost as of who you guys are and what you guys are here for. They're lost as of how to travel in, how to come in. So they're going to be traveling towards you. Yeah, but confusion. They don't know how to do, how to come in to you. So Spirit is saying, keep them patience, okay? So get out of this fear state of mind. It's an illusion. It's there to keep you stuck. And you want to know something is that 4.54 on the clock. In my dream last night when I got shot, um, I was in a very fear. I, I remember the fear I felt in my dream. And in my mind, I said, in my dream, I was like, play dead. This is in my dream, mind you. But I was so in fear, I was stuck in that state of mind. I was stuck in, you know, it's fight or flight or you freeze. I was froze. I froze. So this person can freeze up when they get scared. It's like, okay, I found the words to say to you, but they freeze up and then get scared. Okay, because that was the emotion that I was feeling last night in my dream. And I remember that feeling until they walked through the house and then he found me and shot me. Okay. This is going to be happening in the winter. Like I said, you guys are going to be coming together for the holidays or something. Heart chakra. They're getting these chakras activated. The heart chakra is green. It's open by love, healing, and emotional balance is blocked by grief, loneliness, and emotional pain. The affirmation for that is I am loved and in touch with my feelings. I am loved and in touch with my feelings. I am loved and in touch with my feelings. Yeah, you guys are exchanging intense energy. So, yeah, they're trying to get these chakras in alignment, they're trying to, yeah, look, you have a key to their heart. They had a pride and ego death. This was a lesson they had to learn. They had to. Or, yeah, so now they feel like you're a possession. You belong to me. Nobody else, me. New moon energy, yeah, the new moon was last night. So this shift could have happened last night, or I think it's tonight. It's the 7th or the 8th. I was looking for the moon last night. You guys could have broke up in the fall last year, um, two years ago, four years ago, or could have been together for four to five, six years. Spirit said, worth waiting for. This is worth waiting for. This is confirmation that you guys are going to be married, okay? I have so many drafted texts for you. Yeah, they were in this victim state of mind. And spirit had to, that's that energy from yesterday. So this is a lot of past energy from yesterday, too. With that victim mentality, I was talking about self-accountability. Go watch the reading from yesterday. I was talking about um, taking self-accountability for your actions, um, for the things that majority of the situations of what we go through, we put ourselves in that situation. So this played out in the past. And this lifetime is supposed to come to you and make things right. Now, next lifetime, this lifetime, this person, this is confirmation that this is going to happen. Confirmation. Okay, spirit. What's next? I'm sorry, baby. My cat foot right here, y'all. He keep kicking my basket. Sometimes it ain't even him. It's me. I will put my phone in the middle of his foot in the basket. You can see better too. I like that. Let's see, my cat right here sleeps, so you know how that go. What does this person want to say? What are their hidden truths, hidden desires? What are they going to say reunion day? Um, come on, some more. Help me out, please. What are they going to say reunion day? 8.58 on the clock. Oh, they're not trying to 
not tell no tea, y'all. Okay, there you go. No matter how much I want to and how hard I try, I can't get you off my get you off my mind. My heart has known you before. My heart has loved you before. My heart will all will know you again, and it will love you in every right time we meet. So it was like they know who you are. Yep, look, there you go again. They recognize that y'all reincarnated back here. That y'all got stuff to do. Look, I feel overwhelmed and I'm drowning in my own thoughts. Um, I feel affected in my soul when I hear your voice. Um, if you do readings, they could watch you on Terry, or they could just pay attention to your social media. I feel abandoned by you. It's triggering my childhood traumas. Look, it's split. My heart skips a beat whenever it is reminded of you. It's just, I'm just not ready to face you and take accountability for my actions and inactions. See, I told you this person, it's that energy from yesterday, that self-accountability energy, y'all. Or this person is going to have to face them fears. I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. Yeah, they have to have this ego depth because this is past energy. This is how they felt in the past. And they're realizing, like, their ego is what caused this relationship to go sour. That domino effect. Your voice alone does things to me another's entire body can never do. We find out that voice get that thing pink. <laughs> you, can stop, you can stop pretending you don't care. I can still feel that you do. This person could be pretending that they don't care. Or you could be moving like you really just don't care. And they can feel that you do. You guys are connected. No, no matter how much time passes, I still feel drawn to you, and I don't understand why. You're the love of my life. There is no denying that. Yeah, they know. They know who you are. Mm-hmm. Okay, Smart. You won't have to move my, my bud. gonna have to happen I want to tell you how I feel yeah they're getting out of this fearful energy I'm getting all y'all messages at once you don't know how hard it was to let you go I wish things could be different so yeah they're getting out of this stuck mentality I feel you even though we are apart I wonder if you are happy without me I wish I could take my words back I replay our conversations over and over. I feel you leaving me behind. I am not available. So that could be, since they're not dealing with this karmic, their emotional thing, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, since they're, look, I remember every detail of that day. So if something happened, I know that I crossed the line with you. I hate who I really am from you and one more cut. I couldn't let you go to me. So they ran from you. They ran from this connection um, before I could actually go where I was supposed to go. But with the I'm not available, it's as far as emotionally, or it could be um, a lack of state of mind. It could be fear. It could be it could be anything, okay? Absolutely anything. 13.09 on the clock. But there's just something that they have to personally face. You know, you can see a person healing energy. Do not lurk and get your feelings hurt, okay? I'm saying it's so true because you understand that they're still healing. They're still dealing with different types of baggages. So, looking on their page is not going to give you the clarity that you're seeking. Because if this is playing out, you're going to see everything triggering and it could trigger you i love you by drew hill my spirit give me like two or three songs for my collective for messages no air by chris brown and jordan sparks 
Heartbreak by Trey Songs and Spirit got another cut right here. Incomplete by Cisco. Spirit, you gonna make a cut right here. Slow Down by Bobby Valentino and one more. My Love by the Dreaming Mariah Carey. Bed by Jay Holiday. Okay, and then Spirit, one golden song for the day. Incomplete by Cisco. And Love by Keisha Cole. Yeah, Spirit not playing Heart Attack by Trey Song. Spirit is not playing, so you know this person is grieving a lot. I'm going to put this right here so I don't forget to read today and tomorrow. I mean, today and whatever timeline we on. Today or next year today. Whatever timeline you are on. What is your advice for today? Um, but... Yeah, this person feels like their life is incomplete without you. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what's some self-awareness messages from my collective today? Yeah, I got y'all journals out. Get your journal. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Because look, right on top, questions. Am I apologizing for my truth? How am I avoiding accountability? Who am I shifting the blame on? Choose a self-care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries. Meditate and listen to heart. Speak to yourself with compassion. Focus on your strengths. Say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Say yes to something you're afraid of. Let go of what you can't control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it. Or write down three things you're grateful for. Okay, adopt an abundant mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all your problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our hearts, and changes our state. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that which we are focused on close your eyes put your hands on your heart and think of three things you're grateful for today come on let's do it y'all Okay, are you experiencing a fear? If you need more time, pause it. 1706, 1707. Okay, um, are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you starving, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see what, but to see that by taking action. Today, be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You, you are in need of a hero, so that is who you will become. So if divine masculines are watching you, are you starving, freezing, or giving up? Move in. Go after what you love. Because that lack of, that, that state of mind is what's keeping you stuck most importantly. So do it in it. And then you got to understand that change is very uncomfortable. But if this is a feminine, just get out of this state of mind. Go after what you love. Apologize for things that you are soulfully truthful for, truthful about. What are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. Remind your inner child daily that you are safe, love, magical. Your feelings are valid. It's happening for you, not to you. You're never alone. Put on some slow jams and dance freely. So... Divine feminine, you could be holding on or trying to control when this is going to come together. And spirit is telling you, like, sometimes you got to let go and let divine and, and let love move through it. Release it with love, with pure intentions, with good intentions, with love behind your intentions. And divine masculine, face that fear. Or if it needs to switch, then you need to switch the message. But how whoever this is for you need to get out that lack state of mind that's what's keeping you stuck and you need to let go 
and just dance, do some belly dance and do just dance and hit. Dancing is a part of healing. Where am I called to use my voice right now? Do I know all my strengths and am I using them? Are you being true to who you are? And lastly, be patient. Trust the way everything is coming together, okay? Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy? Am I fully showing up to my life? Do I journal how often and does it help? And look, last night I woke up and um, I was meditating because I woke up at like 12.22. Exactly, 12.22. I keep track of my time and, and I woke up, right? This is my journal. Okay. I woke up and I said, am I choosing a female out of intuition or ego? 12.02 on the clock am I being a, am I being true to myself what are my intentions is it leading to where I'm heading is it out of loneliness or, or pure intentions because your intentions are everything 103 and those are some questions I came up with and I had to realize like I'm not even gay baby I haven't talked to the girl I was gonna give her a chance but then I'm like should I be open to this but then I had to realize that People can manipulate energy and send you things just to stir you off your path, right? So that's where you have to come and really see, am I doing this out of ego? Am I doing this out of not wanting to be alone or out of being alone and wanting that companionship there? Or is this out of intuition? Is this out of pure intention? Is this out of pure, genuinely what I want, okay? It's just some things that you got to pay attention to. So if you see yourself making a decision, okay, you need to move up. Go that way. Yeah. I love you, baby, but you got to you gotta twist your little body or something. Look, lovers, sunshine. Look, you got, it's somebody happening. Somebody got mental clarity over something. They coming in, okay? They thinking of some type of action to move forward, get their finances together. Look, I'm already seeing it. Yeah, you're their happiness. They want a new beginning with you. Spirit is saying this new beginnings are coming in, okay? In the epiphany, they had awoken. New beginnings. This is coming in. This is going to be very fruitful, a very happy, loving relationship. Back then in the past, there was a lot of lies and manipulation and illusion, but Spirit is saying this is new energy. The whole time, this person was a player. They could have had a lot of females, could have been in player energy, but spirit is saying, like, they're coming after this person that's spiritual with good health, could hold good with astronomy. They probably plant, probably don't, but this is who they want out of all the women that they did conquer. So they're in Herman mode right now. Right now they're in a lot of deep introspection, new perspectives, healing, changing old patterns, just changing things about themselves that were their downfalls. It's a part of acknowledging your strengths and your weaknesses, your downfalls. They had to end the situation. So, yeah, they're ending situations around them that no longer serves them. You could be doing the same because you have the power over them. So they're just using that willpower to come towards you, that drive, willpower, that confidence. Yeah. Devil. And this could be obsessing over you. Um, this could be just this karmic partner holding on to them or something that had them bonded as in like a baby um, living together, marriage this could be a financial binding this is something that had them binded but they realized like they went in and gave this person everything that they were supposed to give you that home, that house, the gifts and now they're realizing like look I want to come in and be loyal to my person the will of fortune the new beginnings, things are going to change. Queen of Pentacles. They could have been with this person just for money. And now that everything has played out, they recognize you for who you are and can't believe that they picked that over this, over their past lover, past wife. So they let go. They realized that they were naive, happy. And like I said, they're coming in for this person with good health, a spiritual being. Loving, caring, good health. Good with astronomy. Yeah, they're going to be traveling here soon. They love kissing you. 
isolation. They are, they could be in isolation, okay? Um, healing that STD that that person gave them, anything. Grief, sadness, loneliness. They're realizing that they are manifestors. They can manifest anything that they want and that you can as well. So they're mastering their arts and their craft, hard work. And you, you, this could be you, mastering arts and crafts and doing a lot of hard work. Um, yeah, so that you guys can both live this life where you guys are free to indulge and splurge. Very fruitful, helpful, healing relationship. So you guys are both healing. So when you guys come in, you guys are not throwing baggage on each other. You guys can help each other and actually be more of worth with each other, okay? But yeah, they're coming at this loving, caring, compassionate person. This is a fierce love, a person that loves the idea of love that fights for love. 369, 88. You know, 888 down here. And I took a note, so I'll put the meaning for the 888 in the description because I took notes of all my numbers as far as the reunions and stuff like that. The angel numbers. Yeah. This is a battle between light versus dark. Demonic versus light entities. Um, but they're still not over you, so it's like no matter how much they move on, or while they're in this isolation period, they're seeing that their heart always bring them back to you. So they're coming in with this gift, being kind, very generous, because you are their happiness, you're their world, you're their wish fulfillment. This is a new beginning. This is also an end of a cycle as well. So they could have ended this. Your chariots are arriving. They're here. Surrender and let go of anything from the past. Or... They finally got over this situation. They overcame this and overcoming this change. And this cycle has officially completed 2558. Okay. But yeah, they had to let go. They were feeling stuck. They were feeling naive to this dark versus light. But they were feeling stuck. They let it go. Now they're just working on their finances. They're thinking of some type of fast action, some type of action to come in towards you. Because like I said, they recognize you for who you are. You're their happiness. You're their happy place. So this is going to end in a lot of celebration, happiness, a very fruitful relationship. Four, four, four. That was out yesterday. Two, four, six. Forty-four protection. So your spirit is saying like this is protected. This is something that you don't have to worry about. And this is something that's going to come into fruition. So don't stress it. 2650. Okay. Let me do some last minute messages. Yeah, y'all. I might start doing my um sexual tarots and my career. Yeah, who or what is triggering you? Mirror. Somebody is mirroring something back to you that is triggering you. Identify what this triggering is and who this person is that is triggering this to you. So you can get them out your circle and then identify healthy ways to go about this triggering or to deal with it. Handle it in a different manner. 2747. Make sure you guys are getting rest, retreat, um, be healed. Make sure you guys are getting sleep, okay? You cannot pour from an empty bucket. You have been training to do this for a lifetime. Yeah, all this has played out in a past life. You're here to do something different, so do it because you, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Make sure you guys are dancing, okay? Men, it's okay to dance, okay? Do something to change your energy, okay? charge your energy give you that positive energy if you feel yourself getting down do something to change it to switch it don't dim your light to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit into other people somebody got to close this gap and you don't bring yourself down to fit to close it you got to make people come up and if they don't come up because you can't make nobody go your separate ways but you don't ever dim yourself down to that level dumbing yourself down bring yourself down to that level just to kick it, just to fit in, just to feel welcome. No. Be yourself. And the right people around you will accept you for who you are. The wrong people, you shouldn't have to.
put on no mask or no facade just to have them around. They were not meant to be around you. Your guidance is divinely guided. You're being divinely guided. 29 on 9 on the clock. Um, long gift for home, belonging, the original light worker. Yeah, you guys are light workers, star seeds. Align your life. What is not aligning or needs to be changed? Your guidance is divinely guided. So something in your life is not aligned with where you're going, who you are. It could be people around you. And that's something that needs to be changed. Or it's somebody around you that you're not expressing your feelings to. You're not speaking your mind. You're not setting that boundary with. And you're supposed to be here breaking ancestral curses and patterns, ancestral chains, healing, rewriting the future. So whoever this person is, you need to set a boundary with them. And it's something that you cling your own to that you need to let go and let divine. Okay, let's see. So for this year, the forecast, let's see what the forecast is of December 22. Today is the 8th. A full moon can highlight any issue in your relationship. You would be wise not to react to anything. Perhaps sleeping on it could give you a solution. You have too many ideas floating around in your head. This is not the time to settle for one action, one plan of action, okay? You have a lot of business ideas floating in your head. Maybe it's time to um, venture a new craft if that's something that you doing just to do it. Um, if it's if, as far as love, maybe it's time to actually put forth that foot, take that step forward. Okay, you're on a different timeline because we are all on different timelines. Thirty, forty-nine, and then um, twelve oh eight came up two times today. And then Friday the 8th, okay, listen for good news coming your way regarding work or money, perhaps a bonus you want, you may want to pay your dues or finalize money matters with another person so you're no longer tied together. It will be a lucky day to buy a raffle ticket, okay? Okay, my collective, um, I would love to, let me be like my sage, okay? Y'all, I got three different sticks. I'm so excited. And I lighted off my candles. My candles just went out. Look, that energy. I got some strong energy, okay? To heal my Haley Collective and help them with their shadow work and, you know, pursuing their paths and going further and further in their path and, you know, coming to this point where reunion is here and they're willing to, you know, surrender and their person is as well where there will not be no more blockages but the, if there are we know that there is protection put in place because of them blocks blocks are not for no reason um and he has his curses bind evil magic monitor spirits um evil eye dark magic sent to me or my collective or their person or my person that transmuted to love light and healing energy and release it anybody that's plotting um Against me, my collective demise, I ask that you block off that energy and send them tons of healing energy so they do get on their right path and not move out of anger, spite, or out of guilt. Um, 3307, I ask that you cleanse my collective aurora and cleanse um, my aurora, cleanse the energy field so all they do come across is positive energy. The energy that they do put out is what they do receive back, of course. Um, thank you, Spirit. And I love you all. I will put um, a snippet of my candles at the end of the video. And, um, other than that, I got new candles out. If you want to book a reading, inbox me 3340 on the clock. If you want to book a reading, inbox me. Um, let's start this new year off really good and go into a new year with some advice on what you should do going forward and yeah uh if you want to order candles inbox me i will have all my information in the description box um other than that 
I love you guys. Um, and namaste, my collective. Mwah.